experiencing um, Prophet Elvis, his his gift of prophecy, hearing it and and experiencing how detailed and spot on he was um, or is in all these different areas, it was mind blowing to me. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Mika, can you help me with that? Things so undeserved. Yet you gave to prove your love for me. This is a live broadcast from heaven. From the heart of the Pearl of Africa, Kampala, Uganda, 1st September 2018, came the historic gala of honoring the one and only prophet to the nations, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. And in attendance was the one and only from Dallas, Texas, Micah Stampley, and we happened to catch up with him. Micah, about last night. <laughs> That was epic. It was ballistic <laughs> from the start. Yes, from the start of the night to the end. Uh, do you mind telling me what was your best moment of the night? Um, probably ex experiencing um, Prophet Elvis, his his gift of, pro of of prophecy, hearing it and and experiencing how detailed and spot on. He was, um, or is, in all these different areas. It was mind-blowing to me. So I think that was a highlight of my evening. Father, you are good. And your mercies endure forever. Your mercies endure forever. Your grace overwhelms us. Your power, your power is so great in our midst. And for this, Father, we thank you. And we give you all the glory for the mighty things you have done in our midst and that you continuously do and are going to do even here. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Mika, can you help me with that? Things so undeserved. Yet you gave to prove your love for me The voices Million angels Could not express Thank you, My Jesus. gratitude All that I am Never hope to be I owe it all to the, so, to the, the prophet to the nations. I, I think I like this one. The prophet to the nations stands in a congregation and calls you a prophet in worship. And we've seen this in your music. You prophesy. You talk about miracles, signs and wonders. Something is moving. How did it feel, prophet, to acknowledge you and to, uh, you know, recognize you as a prophet in worship? I've operated in the prophetic realm since I was a child. Um, I began ministering, uh, well, actually singing when I was just two years old. I started teaching mass choirs when I was only seven. Um, and I became a music pastor of a church when I was 12. So God has groomed me in this area for, for ministry for a very long time. Um, I, after experiencing Prophet Elvis' gift, 
I need to pray that God sharpens mine more. So, so, so I got to fast more. I got to pray more. Um, his spiritual antennas are extremely sharp. And um, I, 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 I loved um, hearing, you know, what was going on and how God was using him um, in the earth. Lord, be the glory to God. very humbling, you know, that men and, men and women of God all over the world um, are able to listen to my music in their prayer time um, and the chords that we're playing and the music and the, the melodies and the lyrics that we're singing is um, provoking the prophetic mantle in them. It's very humbling very very humbling and um it's an honor to receive the invitation to come here it's my first time in uganda just let me live just let me live thank you jesus my life thank you jesus and let me be pleased to Oscars, I think that was the highlight of my evening. <laughs> Watching the Oscars prophecy, uh, 2017, 2018, where he prophesied about the Oscars even before the nominations came out. Before us is one who has proven God's manifest presence, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. More than precisely prophesying the winners of the Oscars 2018, Many of the movies and categories he picked out are so abstract and far from popular and mainstream that even regular movie buffs wouldn't know them. Many of these actors and names were not familiar to him. And as if that is not enough, this is still not a subject of interest to him. January 2nd, 2018. Okay, this year I have not seen the Oscars. <laughs> so no Oscars this year. Unless you want me to prophesy it here. Do you want me to prophesy it here? Prophet Elvis Mbonye not only accurately prophesied the Oscars at the start of January before they even confirmed nominees for the second year in a row, but this time, he did it of his own resolve. I didn't see the Oscars, but if you want to, I can go there right here. <laughs> what I'm uh, attempting to do here is 
not an easy thing. If I had done it when I am alone, secluded, it's one thing because I know what I do and I know what it takes. There are certain prophetic revelations which you've got to pass certain barriers in the spirit. Hollywood, to the large extent, is dominated by demonic entities. And, that is, and high level demons are, are that because they're the ones who actually control the psyche of men. So now, the reason as to why I can do it here is to show you that Jesus is Lord of over Hollywood. And uh, also some of our guys and who are in entertainment here to know that you are under a grace that those Hollywood guys cannot hide. When you are told over and over again that when you come here, you've really come to a place unlike any other in the world. I know what I'm talking about. And you should know what that actually means because no one I know can do it. But I can do it. <laughs> To be subject to interpretation, if I get the interpretation wrong, it is because of the timing here. So I want you to understand that, that uh, it, this is a high level thing I'm going to attempt to do here in a short time span. So I'm bound to get certain interpretations that I tap in. <laughs> Not rightly, but you will know. You will know that there is no office in the entire world first keep it up quite a bit i hear best adapted screenplay and uh, i hear the one who takes it here in here call me by your name And the Oscar goes to James, James Ivory, call, call me by, by your name. name. This is the first Oscar in Fortnite. I hear best animated feature. Then I see COCO, Coco, Coco. Here are the nominees for best animated feature film. And the Oscar goes to Viva Latin America, Coco! I see the one who takes the production design, best production design. The shape of water, the movie, the shape of water. And the Oscar goes to The Shape of Water. I, I, I hear best film editor, and I see Dunkirk, D-U-N-K-I-R-K. And the Oscar goes to Dunkirk, Lee Smith. Then I see Best actor, Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman. And the winner is Gary Oldman. This sound editor, sound editing, Dunkirk, Dunkirk. And the Oscar goes to? Dunkirk, Richard King and Alex Gibson. This is the first Oscar in nomination for Alex Gibson. I'm hearing a song. 
Remember me, best song. Best song, remember me. And the Oscar goes to Mexico, Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez for Remember Me. Coco. This is the second Oscar win. And so shall you know. And so shall you see. That this day, which is the second of January, we are not even the nominations, nothing. So shall you know that the Spirit of God, the Spirit of prophecy, is in your midst and is with you. This is more than a man. This is a global authority, one who decrees great things for the world to see, and yet the major influencers we have known are powerless to change it. And this, for such a gift as this to our lives, it is our privilege, our exceptional prestige, and our opportune sacred duty to show our continued gratitude, reverence, ceremonious celebration, and more than worthy unrelenting display of double upon double honor to one heaven itself deemed fit to ordain and appoint prophet to the nations, prophet Elvis Mbonye. Then he says that the agenda of the Spirit of God is uh, for people of God to know that the Lord is God over Hollywood and you being in the music industry, you're not separated from that. So um, what did you think watching these uh, prophecy updates? Well, what most people don't know is that, and I shared in another interview, I am an actor. I was an actor and a model, and I still model. Um, years before I was a recording artist, even before I was married. Um, that is my background, acting and modeling. And um, I still um, work in, in both industries. Um, music has always taken the forefront of it all, and, um, but I do know God has reopened those doors for me and to get me back um, into that industry which is why I'm no longer in Texas. I now live in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and um, um, uh, my wife and I own our own entertainment company. So we are in the process of doing, um, producing our first film and television, TV shows and things like that. So um, I was very encouraged to hear um, the prophecies because um, there's something that Hollywood has done their best to prohibit faith-based material um, to be um, um, a, a part of their system. And so there are a lot of Christians, a lot of believers who are pulling for faith-based projects and films. So I was very encouraged to hear that, that my Oscar is coming. So um, next, I remember in, in one of those updates, um, even during the night, Prophet Elvis Mbonya talked about that the Spirit of God is in the agenda of rooting and uprooting leaders. And we, in, the, in this industry, media, uh, whether it's in media, music, yeah. uh, the leadership, if the leadership is bad, it affects the industries, Absolutely. each and every industry, each and every uh, part of the country, whether it's economics, entertainment, politics, yep. the leadership affects that. So hearing him say that the Spirit of God is in the business of rooting and uprooting leaders, and we saw that even in the prophecy updates where he's, he prophesied about the, the, the you know, the... Uh, pro, uh, Donald Trump, oh, yeah. he prophesied about Theresa May, being chosen of God, um, and you being a prophetic worshipper, and we've seen uh, the prophetic hasn't yet come out in the past, it's been really suppressed, but now the Spirit of God is bringing it out, and he has been a sign of that. Um, how did that make you feel 
coming into contact with him, you know, encountering him and sharing in that one thing in common, the prophetic, because that is what God is using in this last move. Um, how did it make you feel? How, what was the encounter like with Prophet Elvis Mbonya? The, the Word of God teaches us that God doesn't do anything in the earth unless he re revealed it to his prophets first. And um, when you have a prophetic mantle, it's important to release it, release what God is saying, re release what God um, um, desires to do. Um, and sometimes people are afraid of the prophetic gift. It scares them. Um, when you can see any and everything, that scares people, you know, and many times it's those individuals who have not lived a life that is really pleasing to God and sometimes they are afraid of being exposed. And I think that um, what um, Prophet Elvis has spoken and other in, just in the political field, um, in the entertainment world, uh, government and, you know, think especially about the chopper that crashed, just all those different things, I'm like, Wow. The presence of a prophet of God of this caliber in our nation is one that cannot be ignored. More than the supernatural manifestations, the level of the prophetic displayed by Prophet Elvis Mbonye is a sign that the authority of God's word has the final say on the peril or prosperity of a nation, depending on how that word is received. In 2012, Prophet Elvis Simbonye prophesied what he saw as UPDF choppers blowing up on the way to Somalia. The helicopter seemed to have flipped but remained intact. Eight soldiers were rescued from it. Search and rescue operations are still ongoing with a contingent of Kenya Wildlife Service, Kenya Defense Forces and police officers combing the area around Mount Kenya for the missing Ugandan military officers who are still not accounted for. President Kibaki has said that the operation will... There's something which is unfolding which you guys ought to pray about. Again, those months I saw, I remember, in that fellowship, I, I, one of the fellowships, I saw that helicopter thing being blown up. And now, before then, we didn't have helicopters there in Somalia, specifically I mentioned Somalia. And yesterday, uh, you told me I hear they were moving. So you, you guys pray uh, the, and cover that because they all of a sudden wake up and they decide, okay, now let's send their helicopters. And there's a prophecy hanging, a very dangerous prophecy hanging over that. Now, that's why I'm saying that the time is coming when the nations will be subdued before the glory of God. They will take this thing seriously. They will begin consulting from God on whatever is supposed to be right in the nation. Glory to God. That is basically the element of the prophetic. It is to subdue the nations before the throne of God. That they may recognize that the Lord, surely the Lord is God. And so, it is not the politicians, it is not the parliament. All these guys can come up and debate all they want to, uh, you know, but God has foreseen it. And God knows you take that action, it is deadly. You take this action and prosperity comes. The choppers were sighted on Monday morning and seven soldiers rescued before they were taken to Nanyuke airstrip. And that looks as though it is exactly what happened to the Ugandan crew. These fulfillments are a clear sign that those who heed God's voice in our day and age will not only be preserved but restored and prospered to unimaginable heights. And as a chosen nation that hosts this great prophetic grace, whose word never falls to the ground, we bestow all praise, prestige, excellence, and exceptional celebratory double honor to God's heavenly gift to our generation, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. I would, I would love to um, see him in other parts, not just of this continent, but in the U.S. and other parts of the world. 
speaking what thus saith the Lord. Can you bless us with the Lamb of God? The song? There's a glory in this place. Remember what the Holy Ghost promised? Your only son, no sin to hide, but you have brought him from your side to walk upon. This guilty sod and to become the Lamb of God, your gift of love they crucified, they laughed and scorned him as he. Died the humble king. Just lift your hands, go ahead. They named a fraud, then sacrificed the Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Sweet Lamb of God. I love the whole Lamb of God who washed me in your precious blood. My Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Your precious blood. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My Jesus Christ. The love of God. Glory to God. The moment is now. The season is here. More than a momentary reality, this positioning is for eternity. We have been afforded the great privilege of awakening to a life where we are subject to these same manifestations of power, reflecting a multiplied magnitude of this transcendent glory. Partake of the powers of the age to come every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds opposite KCCA Stadium, Lugogo, with Prophet Elvis Simboni. And for those flying in, contact our public relations desk by emailing pr at prophetelvis.com. <laughs>